Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to episode 50 in our Just A Facts series. Now today we have covered this topic before and it's a topic that does indeed need covering every time there's news on it because it's just so iconic. Many of my fans may know about the amazing games from the early 2000s and some in particular were The Simpsons games. Specifically, The Simpsons Hit and Run. Now, when we covered this before, we talked about a remaster for the current gen consoles, as the lead developer behind Simpsons Hit and Run did express his interest in bringing back the iconic title from the dead. But now it seems as though a remaster isn't what we're getting at all. It is in fact most likely going to be a remake for the Nintendo Switch only. So, with that bit of a bombshell, let's get into detail regarding what I found. So, as many of you know, it has been a staggering 17 years since The Simpsons Hit and Run graced us with its amazing and iconic presence. And in that time, it has become a cult classic, with creative modding as well. But we're not going to go into that because I really hate modding. But they, they, they really have thought of everything in the modding, in, from terms of multiplayer mode to steamed hams. Just, wow. I, I was looking up some of the modding community for The Simpsons Hit and Run, and it is just absolutely insane. Not to mention that new... Uh, well, this this is off topic at the moment, but... That new game called Dreams for PlayStation, somebody has actually remade The Simpsons Hit and Run. Granted, it looks a little bit shit, but it it's there, you know? I mean, you could probably make something better in, in Minecraft, but it's, it's there. Somebody's taken the time to do it. Anyway, moving on. If you weren't lucky enough to spend almost every waking moment of your childhood zooming around Springfield, whether it be on The Simpsons Skateboarding, The Simpsons Road Raid, Simpsons Hit and Run, or even The Simpsons Game, which came out after the movie. Um, you know, uh, from kicking things, to running away giggling, and, you know, all the other fantastic things that were in there. But uh, the, the Simpsons Hit and Run involves the full Simpsons cast, aliens, weird, fast cars, a variant of Buzz Cola that makes you act kind of loopy, and zombies. Yeah, zombies. Final level, zombies. Hardest level in the game. But, I've got to say, the most fun level in the game. I actually really enjoyed that level. Anyway, so... Because I, and so many more of the gaming community and internet, are of the opinion that a remake would be the next best thing since Sideshow Bob stood on a rake. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that properly, but you, you get where I'm going with that. Um, I've got some... Well, it's, it's a creditable source from... Um, one of the game's old designers. Now, the senior game designer, Joe McGinn, or McGinn, McKinn, or McGinn, I don't know, I'm just going to call him Joe, uh, to find out more about the game's development, what kind of ideas the team had for a sequel, and what a future remake or remaster would look like. Because let's not forget, a sequel was in the works, but it was shut down after the, I think it was Activision that did the first one, or was it EA? It was EA or Activision, one of the two. But the division that did it was bought out by EA or Activision, and um, yeah, they said no. Sequel, no. So, that just really ruined our childhoods. But... Um, as covered in my last video about a remaster, the Simpsons Hit and Run producer did say he'd like to see the game remastered or remade for modern systems, like I said at the beginning of the video. 
and he speculated that it could indeed happen. But is it something that us as fans would like to see? Would it be better off as the pop culture classic that we all know and love, or would we all love to replay it again in full 4K HD? To be fair, I'm quite happy playing it on the PS2. You know, I don't mind firing up the PS2 to play it. But a full 4K remake would be pretty awesome. But uh, Joe, of course, uh, says, I would love to have it myself on the Nintendo Switch. He specifically says the Nintendo Switch. Having said that, the PC version, if you can still find it, not only works on modern versions of Windows... It is compatible with some pretty amazing mods. You see, that is what it's become about now. Mods. You know, you, you don't want a remaster or a remake of an iconic game just to mod it. Or you don't mod a classic or iconic game in the first place. Why would you want to do that? It's just play the damn game as it was intended to be played. I mean, you don't want to play The Simpsons Hit and Run driving around as Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Or Rick and Morty? No! You want to play The Simpsons Hit and Run? It's a classic game. It doesn't deserve to be messed with like that. I mean, God, give me a break. Anyway, I'm going to move on before I make this a discussion about mods. Because I could talk about that shit forever. <laughs> but um, in a Q&A, he was asked what changes or improvements to the game would he like to see in a remaster? Well... He went into detail on this, and he said, If it's a remaster, I'm all about the frame rate. Don't change the art style, it's pretty authentic to the show. Which I agree with, you know. For its time, it, it was actually brilliant. You know, the graphics were brilliant. It was, it was fantastic. Um, he says, Give me 60 frame rates per second. I think games just look and feel better that way. He goes on to say, if it's a remake, that's a whole other kettle of three-eyed fish. <laughs> you see what he did there? I, I see what he did there. Uh, he says, um, I suppose making a single cohesive connected environment, that would be natural these days. But the big focus would be improving the out-of-car gameplay. Hit and Run was our team's first AAA platformer in terms of gameplay. So the camera and player mechanics were a bit rough around the edges. I'd love to see another crack at making Mario level smoothness. Come to think of it, I do kind of see the, the whole Mario vibe in Simpsons Hit and Run now. Yeah, let's forget I ever said that. Let's No, 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 every time I play it now, I'm just going to see Mario. No! <laughs> anyway. Um... He says, uh, in the platforming camera and animations so that the running parts felt as good as the driving. Uh, he then says, one thing I wouldn't change is the car physics and car mechanics. We were trying for a driver style kind of fun power sliding and it still feels great today. Yeah, I, I, I guess, I, guess I, can, I, I can agree with him on that. Now, as I was talking about earlier for the sequel... In the same Q&A, he was asked about the sequel and what ideas were on the table. And he went into detail on that as well. He says, uh, We had some very early gameplay prototypes. I remember our physics guru, Greg Mayer, got uh, connected vehicles working so you could have a trailer being pulled behind a car with some fun results. But we never got very far before EA won the right to the Simpsons movie game. So sadly, there was nothing we could do to move on. Ah, so, so it was it was EA that acquired the rights. You know, EA got the rights for the Simpsons game, which featured the superpower thing, which apparently was better than a Simpsons Hit and Run sequel. Mm. Yeah. No, just just no. Anyway, but people are still hugely passionate about Simpsons Hit and Run, more than fifteen years on from its release. So it stands to reason that it would be a great idea to bring it back. I mean, even Joe goes on to say that um, it still kind of amazes him when every now and then he'll meet a young adult 
and as it turns out, Hit and Run was one of their favourite games when they were younger. It's just a nice moment to him. Then, a couple of years ago, he found out there was this growing interest in the game, and even an active modding community. Ugh, I can't believe he condones modding that game. Anyway, uh, he says it kind of blew his mind, so he couldn't have predicted anything like that when they first designed it. It does make him happy. Game developers are entertainers at heart. It's nice that we can still put a few smile on people's faces with something that was made so long ago. So um, he was also asked about um, collaboration with cast and writers during the development. And uh, he does say the writers were involved at the beginning to approve the story for the game. So basically, you've got to think of The Simpsons Hit and Run as as like a mini movie or an extended episode, if you like. Uh, he goes on to say, once they agreed on that, they left us to our own devices. All the game dialogue, for example, was written by Chris Mitchell. Chris is a great writer with a great sense of humour and possibly... More importantly, he really got the Simpsons style of humour, as well as understanding all the characters, which is why it sounded so authentic. Again, I have to agree with that. I loved the Simpsons dialogue. I loved the cutscenes, the uh, the dialogue between the characters. It was it was brilliant. Even the side characters had dialogue. Uh, it was only a couple of phrases, but it was still fantastic. Um, Someone else has asked in the same Q&A if um, a remake or remaster were to happen. Were there any cut features that he would like added into the game or that he was sad to leave behind in the original game? Uh, he says, not really. Our producer was great about getting us nearly two years to make the game. At the time where third party developers like us usually got 12 months. That was a huge factor in polishing the game to such a high level of quality. So, you know, to me that says if a remake or remaster does happen, then it will be identical to the original. You know, there'll be nothing new. There'll be no changes. There'll be no added in levels. There'll be no DLCs to say, oh, yeah, you missed this in the first game. So this is coming now. It's, it's, no, no. It will be authentic and it will be proper. So, um, yeah, that, that's about all I could find regarding the Simpsons Hit and Run remake for Nintendo Switch. I mean, it it isn't much, granted, you know, that I haven't really broken it down that much about the remake or remaster on Nintendo Switch, but it does seem like that's where it's going. So, on that note, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, once again, I do apologise that it's not really that factual this week, but... Um, with um, E3 not long around the corner, uh, with the Game Awards just being and gone, uh, with Gamescom uh, in December, there's really not that much factual information to throw out there. You know, I'm I'm getting my sources from Facebook at the moment, so <laughs> you know that that goes to show that there isn't much out there in the in the way of the gaming world at the moment. Uh, but still, let me know in the comments what you guys think as to the potential remake or resurrection of the simpsons hit and run do you think it would be a bad idea to have it as only a nintendo switch remake or do you think uh, they are going to do it on all platforms i mean personally i'd love to see it on all platforms because i would love to get it again on the ps4 i would just love to play it in full 4k on a big 50 inch tv as opposed to a little tiny box tv that i had when i was a kid <laughs> you know what i mean guys you know what i mean but um, yeah, that is it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope I expanded your gaming knowledge and gave you an inside look into this potential resurrection. So um, yeah, as you guys know, uh, I'm going to be taking Sundays off and uh, Tuesdays. Uh, Sunday just because uh, we still haven't got The Walking Dead replaced. Uh, I was supposed to get it for Christmas and I was supposed to get it for my birthday. But um, sadly, uh, my mum couldn't find it. So I never got it. So, until we get that replaced, I'm taking Sundays off, and Tuesday is just my annual day off anyway. And uh, if I don't produce anything during the week, it's just because I've got something personal to do, or I've got something in general to do. So, don't worry, I'm still going to pr 
provide you guys with content. So anyway, shout out to all subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for your love and continuous support and views of my content. I will continue to bring you the best content I can. If you are new to the channel and enjoyed this video or any of my other content, make sure you smash that like button and drop me a subscribe. I always sub back to new subscribers and view any content you may be producing. So that being said, this has been Just The Facts with GamerDude. Happy gaming. And I will catch you all in the next one, guys.